All right, welcome back to Getting Sober, dot, dot, dot again. My name is Sam, and today we have a very special episode just for you. I'm gonna be talking about the 20 things I've learned from being two years sober. But first, if you haven't yet, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and if you care about your sobriety as much as we do, then don't forget to subscribe. All right, let's get started. The first thing I learned from two years of sobriety is I lost a ton of weight. Before I got sober, I was eating whatever I wanted, no matter how bad it was for me. I would drink as much as my body was willing to take and eat a bunch of fast food after a night out. I learned that what you put in your body matters. You wouldn't have a luxury car and put regular fuel in it, would you? The same thing goes for your body. Eating whole foods and looking for fresh and healthy ingredients really does make a huge difference. Since then, I've lost 50 pounds and I've never felt better. The second thing I learned after two years of sobriety is I have better hormone regulation. I have what's called polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS. And because of that, I gained about 60 pounds in three months. For those of you that don't know, PCOS is a condition in which the ovaries produce an abnormal amount of androgens, also known as male sex hormones, that are usually present in women in much smaller amounts. Symptoms of this condition include missed, irregular, or light periods, ovaries that are large or have many cysts, excess body hair, including chest, stomach, back, and neck, weight gain, acne or oily skin, thinning hair, and even fertility and if left untreated, can even lead to diabetes. To combat PCOS, I was put on a hormone medication called metformin, also commonly used for patients with diabetes. But with proper diet and exercise, I was able to completely come off the medication for good. There is no treatment currently for those with PCOS, but in my experience, with the right diet and exercise, you can manage your symptoms and live a normal life. I must also state that I'm not a medical professional, so if you have this condition, it's best to talk to your doctor for the proper treatment. And of course, learn as much on your own to be as well informed as possible. The third thing I learned after two years of sobriety is I was able to get off all of my other medications as well. I was taking metoprolol for heart palpitations, metformin and birth control to manage my hormones, and spironolactone to combat acne. After getting sober and deciding to treat my body right, my body ended up thanking me with lowered blood pressure, less acne, and regulated hormone levels. But again, always talk to your doctor and gather your own information to make the decision that's best for you. The fourth thing I learned after two years of sobriety is I found a better diet for me. Since I quit drinking alcohol, I stopped eating fast food and I'm better hydrated. I have more time and money available to buy and prepare healthy meals. I don't give into temptations of ordering fast food every night of the week, even though I sometimes really want to. <laughs> I started meal prepping on Sundays and make enough food to last all week. Back when I was drinking heavily, I made it a point to not drink water because I didn't want to mess up my buzz. That caused me to have terrible hangovers the next day because I was severely dehydrated. It's suggested that you drink one 16 ounce glass of water with every 12 ounce beer or four to six ounces of liquor. Nowadays, I go to bed with a bottle of water next to me. So when I wake up in the morning, I can immediately hydrate myself and I carry my water bottle around me pretty much everywhere I go. The fifth thing I learned after two years of sobriety is I don't have to keep an eye on my drinks all night. Have you ever met someone that just didn't quite make you feel right and you have a strong urge to get a different drink? Yeah, me too. Now that I'm not drinking, I worry less about who slipped what in my drink or is someone gonna follow me out of the bar when I'm ready to leave? There have definitely been instances where I've gone out for a few drinks and all of a sudden I feel absolutely sick to my stomach. Now that I'm sober, I haven't had a single instance of, is someone trying to take advantage of me? In my experience, the places you subject yourself to has a big impact on the kind of people that surround you. 
And now that I'm no longer going to these places, I have less worry about my personal safety. The sixth thing I learned from being two years sober is I have way more energy. Now I still have my lazy, tired days like everyone else, but now that I'm eating right, drinking water, getting rest, exercising, and sober, I feel like I have more energy in the day to tackle my day-to-day -day activities. In the summertime, we like to go for hikes and play frisbee golf, sometimes even all day. Can you imagine doing that hungover? <laughs> Me neither. No more sitting around and watching that show again for the third time. <laughs> the seventh thing I learned after being two years sober is I have less interaction with toxic people. I stopped getting toxic text messages and I stopped being taken advantage of. I stopped putting myself into risky situations where others could have seen me as an easy target. Now that I don't put myself into those situations anymore, it rarely ever happens. I stopped exposing myself to the people that were making those toxic life decisions. Now I spend my days getting breakfast or coffee with a friend and actually enjoy their company, not hungover. I'm finally choosing who I allow myself to spend my day with, which gives me less stress and anxiety. The eighth thing I learned from two years of sobriety is I found out who my true friends were. Before I got sober, I had so many friends that I would hang out with almost every day. And in the beginning of my sobriety, when I told those friends that I was no longer drinking, it was apparent that they wanted less and less from me. I got comments like, oh, you were way more fun when you were drunk. I won't tell anybody. Not many people were happy for me for making this big life change because we all know not many people welcome change. So to them, my lifestyle change was a threat. I ended up finding my people and they are nothing but encouraging to the changes that I want to make for myself. I even have some friends join me to make these changes too. It is so much more refreshing to find the people that will lift you up instead of sticking around the people that want to tear you down. I stopped lowering my standards just because I was lonely. All right, the ninth thing I learned after two years of sobriety is I have more respect for myself. In the beginning of my sobriety, it really hurt my feelings when my friends no longer wanted to hang out with me just because I didn't drink anymore. Now, after two years, I'm no longer seeking approval from others. I respect myself enough to do what I want to do. We aren't supposed to be worried about pleasing everyone all the time. I found out that as long as I was happy with myself, it didn't matter what anyone else thought of me. We like to say here that the most important relationship that you're ever going to have is the relationship with yourself. The 10th thing I learned from two years of sobriety is no more FOMO. The fear of missing out is anxiety that an exciting or interesting event may be occurring elsewhere. I decided that it didn't really matter if I missed that fight or drama that happened at the bar, at the party, or between friends. I don't feel the need to be somewhere else just to see what other people were doing. Now I can focus on what I want and what I need most. If I spent all my time worrying about other people, I wouldn't have any time to help myself to learn and grow in new ways that others aren't responsible for. The 11th thing I learned from two years of sobriety is no more obligatory alcohol bribery conversations. I don't feel the need to accept drinks from strangers at the bar and having my whole night hijacked by that one person. You know that feeling of obligation. When someone asks you if you'd like a drink, now you have to go through the charade of acting interested in what someone else has to say. When you really just wanted to spend a comfortable evening out by yourself, or with your friends. I can now confidently say, no thank you, with a smile on my face. The 12th thing I learned from two years of sobriety is, I got the courage to start therapy. For the majority of my life, I was told that therapy was for the people that had problems. I discovered that after I had made so many life changes, I just needed a little more help sorting out what was going on inside my head. And now, 
Instead of having a personal therapy session with another random drunk person at the bar, I'm able to speak to a professional that can actually help me sort through what I'm dealing with. I found that it was nice to have a professional thinker and observer listen to what I had to say and offer a constructive perspective. When you're talking to someone that doesn't have anything to do with your personal life, you're able to say all the things that you might normally leave out in a conversation between your friends. And it's nice knowing that a therapist, unlike friends or family, won't betray my trust down the road and use my vulnerability against me later. And I learned that therapy isn't for the people that have issues. It's for everyone because we all have issues. Like getting an oil change on your car, you're giving your mind fresh oil to help you run more efficiently. All right, the 13th thing I learned after two years of sobriety is I was able to earn more money. Now that I had more time and energy, I could really start focusing on my career and new ways to improve. I was able to focus on getting new certifications and increasing my knowledge to find a position that was right for me. Now I'm able to be more selective about how much money I'm willing to accept and where I want to work. And that's called knowing your worth. The 14th thing I learned from being two years sober is I was able to afford a, a new car. car. With the money I was able to save by not drinking, I was able to buy a new and reliable car. The car that I used to drive somehow always seemed to have one problem after another, like me. <laughs> now I actually care enough about my car to keep it clean and not have random papers and other miscellaneous items hanging around in the back seat. And I don't have to worry about what part is going to break down next, like me now. <laughs> All right, the 15th thing that I learned after two years of sobriety is I can finally afford to travel. For me, alcohol and alcohol-related expenses was such a money eater that I would never quite have enough money to pay for the bills and have enough extra for fun holidays. And that's the trap of alcohol, because we always seem to have enough money to get drunk today. This past summer, we were able to go on a cross-country road trip for over 30 days. Adventure is something I really need in my life, and I'm finally able to quench that thirst in a meaningful way. The 16th thing that I learned after two years of sobriety is, I have more motivation to learn. Not only does drinking age your brain, now I have more time in the day to focus on learning and the brain fog isn't getting in the way of me retaining all that information. Instead of sitting on the couch and watching TV, I spend more time watching tutorials or studying for my next certification. Brain fog is characterized by confusion, forgetfulness, and a lack of focus and mental clarity. I'm now able to think more clearly, and that's helped me to gain more confidence in my learning abilities and career. I learned how to play pool, play the piano, get more business certifications, and I even learned how to be a plant mom. The 17th thing I learned from two years of sobriety is I was able to leave a toxic workplace. I found that having access to a lot of alcohol every day wasn't good for me. I worked at a place that allowed the bartenders to drink on the job. So not only was I drinking after work, I was also drinking during work. That didn't leave me much time to not be intoxicated. It also exposed me to some not so friendly clientele. I could probably spend an entire day telling you horror stories of the service industry. We tend to get so used to toxic environments that we become blind to what we subject ourselves to. All right, the 18th thing I learned after two years of sobriety is I became more reliable. When I was drinking, I would make plans, but then get too intoxicated the night before. I got to the point where I was showing up for family holidays too hungover to want to socialize. I would end up eating with the family, then going to the spare room and taking a nap. Now, I go to all the family gatherings completely sober. And 
I'm able to tell my family about all the good things that I've been up to. I'm able to see my family and the people I care about more often and not feel so anxious thinking about the upcoming events. In fact, now I even look forward to some of them. Some of them. <laughs> all right, the 19th thing I learned after two years of sobriety is I can get to work on time because I didn't get wasted the night before. No more drinking until four, five, six, or seven in the morning and trying to get just enough shut eye to barely function at work the next day. Back when I was drinking, I would start getting ready around nine or 10 o'clock at night. Now I tend to go to bed around nine or 10 p.m. to give myself a chance of having a better day tomorrow. All right, last but not least, the 20th thing that I learned after being two years sober is I've fallen in love with life again. Back when I was drinking daily, I really wasn't motivated or inspired to do anything with my life or anything at all. I felt like I was running on autopilot all the time. I got too comfortable not pushing myself harder. And every day I felt like I was just wasting away. I have so much more lust for life now. I look forward to waking up in the morning. I look forward to accomplishing the next task. And I look forward to living and seeing the results. I still get lazy every once in a while. Who doesn't? But the difference now is that I just don't allow myself to take the easy option anymore. It feels so good when I accomplish the task immediately because when it's over, future me doesn't have to do that task anymore. I can now confidently say that I am living my best life and life has never been better. And if you made it this far, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'd really love to hear your thoughts, especially from the women in this community. And of course, thank you all so much for watching my first ever episode here on getting sober dot 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 again. I want to wish you all good luck in your own self-improvement journeys. We love you all and we will see you in the next video. Again? All right, okay, buddy. Do it again. If you want to see another one of our videos, click here.